Hi and Assalamualaikum. I am Nur Liana binti Muhammad Lutfi Taufiq and the rest of my team, Nur Farahanis, Nur Afika, Nur Rabiaturaha, Muhammad Hazim and Muhammad Shamil will present you Takaful vs. Insurance. Now, let's get started. Now, we are focusing first on the definition of takaful. The meaning of takaful is taken from the Arabic verb, which is kafala, which means a jointly guarantee. It is where two parties agree to become a joint guarantee for each other's risk against loss and damages. As you are aware, takaful is a protection plan that follows strictly sharia principle, which is by complying according to the Makasid al-Sharia. In family takaful, it used the own principle to create a solid financial protections and saving plan for the family. Last but not least, the prohibited practices such as riba, usury, garo, uncertainty, and miser gambling are not allowed in family takaful as they are contradict with the Islamic rules. When you participate in takaful, contract a cut needs to be undertaken for your contributions. The portion of your contributions will take the form of participatory contributions tabaru. If any of the participants suffer a misfortune due to death or permanent disability, your contributions in the form of tabaru will be put into a fund, participant special account or PSA, which will be utilized to fulfill your commitment of mutual support. You will be eligible to receive a portion of the fund's net surplus if you live past the plan's maturity date, your savings and investment contributions in participants' account or PA will be invested by Takafu operator and the profit will be shared between you and the Takafu operator in accordance with the predetermined ratio. Now, moving on to the insurance. Different from family Takafu, Hongdong Assurance or HLA is a company that's e that is engaged principally in the underwriting of life insurance businesses, including investment link and also annuity businesses. In this conventional insurance, the risk is solely transferred from the insured to insurer in the exchange for premium. Hence, HLA will compensate policyholder in the event of losses or damages. Hongdong Assurance now stands tall as the best life insurance company in Malaysia for the fifth time. It is awarded by the International Finance Award 2022. Now, what is the key differences between Takaful and also insurance? We will look at the key differences between Takaful and conventional insurance. Takaful and conventional insurance may look similar on the surface since both provide protection for the people who subscribe to it. However, when we understand the concepts of these two products on a deeper level, they are significantly different. For example, firstly is in the terms of intention of the individual when they decided to get subscribed to any of these two products. For Takafu participants, when they enter an agreement, they are agreeing in a mutual cooperation for the fund. This is as Takafu hold the concept of donation, where the funds donated by the participants will be pulled to aid any of the participants of Takafu fund if they befall in an unfortunate situation. The relationship resembles a help as a community. On the other hand, conventional insurance is more straightforward and represents the relationship of an individual to the insurance company. The intention of insurance subscribers is solely for seeking protection as an independent party from an insurance provider. To do this, they must pay the premium charges to be eligible to claim the coverage as was agreed. Secondly is on the topic of risk. To put it simply, risk refers to the possibility of events that the fund will end up being used or claimed. For Takaful, risk is shared mutually among all the participants, whereas in conventional insurance concept, the risk is transferred from the insured to the insurer. This means that the risk is traded by the individual to be borne by the insurance company. Another difference of Takaful and insurance is Takaful participants may retain an ownership interest on the fund. Profits from investment made on the fund will be distributed on both the participants and the shareholders of the Takaful fund. Additionally, if there is an extra money because of a low claim rate by Takaful participants, it will also be distributed back to them. As for conventional insurance, the dividends from the investments made on Wansu's fund only belongs to the shareholders of the insurance companies. Regarding the topic of investments, Takaful will only invest the funds into Sharia-compliant instruments. 
the instruments must align with the Islamic laws and is free from haram elements. Meanwhile, conventional insurance can freely invest in any type of instruments. Last but not least, Takaful is subject to both Sharia and government laws, but conventional insurance is only subject to government laws. This made conventional insurance prone to contain elements of garar, maiser and riba that is prohibited in the Islamic law. That is all for the key differences of takaful and conventional insurance. Next, we will look at the different ways participants can get compensation between these two products. So, let's talk about the Takaful Ikhlas family product. The product's aim focus on plans linked to saving or investment and mortgage protection plan. How does Sharia apply? First, Tabaru means a donation to show solidarity and cooperation between Takaful participants and to help them in need. Tabaru is added to the company risk fine. Second, Wakala is referred to principal Muwakil, give agent Wakil permission to do a certain job with or without payment. The company is a Wakil agent for Takaful and Wakala fees Ujara. The next product in the Takaful Ikhlas family is Ikhlas Basic Term. It is a basic regular contribution term plan. During the term of the Takaful certificate, a lump sum debt payment is made if the person covered dies or suffer total and permanent disability (TPD). This pay is for 17 between 55 years old. Age is defined by the following birthday. So we can choose the duration one to cover which 5 years or 10 years or 20 years. The Takafu contribution we must be paid is based on underwriting requirements and the expected annual payment is 260 ringgit 60 cent for the contribution term until age 55 years old. The maximum age coverage for that is 18 years and for the TPD is 70 years. The product comes in 5 package plan and we can see the other product provided on the table. Next, accidental debt or TPD pays 100% of the total insured. If the insured person dies from dengue, 55% of the value covered up to 100,000 will be paid. The benefit sum and cover are will be shown in the table below. Gross annual Takafu contribution is influenced by underwriting, age, term, smoking, status, gender, and some cover. The chart show contribution rates based on the age and term. Then, we estimate the chart, the chart below is 100% ringgit for plan 2. Lastly, the product fee are separate into wakala fees and other charges. For example, first your wakala for basic takafu is 25% and 10% for the next 5 years. For your information, wakala fees are different from other products. Now, move on to Hong Leong Assurance product. The product that they offer is life protection. What is life protection? Life protection is a type of insurance that pays out a certain sum of money to the policy holder in the event of specific event, such as the death of the policy holder. In Hong Leong, assurance named life insurance as HLA Life Essential. In this one plan, there are two of coverage which are coverage for policy and family and coverage for business for key man protection. Although, taking care of personal protection needs is crucial. On the other hand, if a startup entrepreneur, it is also crucial that protect businesses during this challenging time. To be request for this insurance, customer must be at least 30 years old and no older than 70 years old. In addition, the minimum annual premium purchasable for this plan is RM240. However, for older ages, the premium will exceed RM240. Next, the minimum basic sum assurance is RM5000, while the maximum basic sum assurance is subject to underwriting. Lastly, coverage term is yearly renewable with coverage, coverage up to age 100 without underwriting. So we move on to the benefit of family takaful. First, it is considered debt benefit. If the person cover dies, the monthly income benefit is provided to the person covers beneficiary or next of family members for the remainder of the takaful certificate term. Second, there is the benefit of surrender takaful, takaful certificates. When the takaful certificate is surrendered, the amount accumulated in the PRA, equal investment income from the PRA and net distributed the surplus from the risk fund is payable. Third, critical illness benefit. If the person cover is diagnosed with any of the critical illness mentioned in the Takafu certificate, the person cover receive a monthly income benefit for the remainder of the Takafu certificate term. At the Takafu certificate term, there is a list of critical illness. The Takafu certificate maturity benefit come next. 
when the takaw full certificate matches, the amount accumulated in the PRA equal to the PRA investment income and any net distributed surplus from the risk fund becomes payable. Finally, there is the benefit of total and permanent disability, TPD. If the person cover suffer TPD for any reason, the monthly income benefit is payable for the remainder of the takaw full duration. The table show the following condition. Takaful also provide a conditional hibah option. Hibah is a concept of gift, which means when the takaful holder pass away, a compensation can be given directly to the nominee without having to go through the estate management process. This is where hibah takaful play an important role in ensuring that the heirs you leave behind can continue living comfortably. See the example below for a clear picture. If Imran, a 30 years old man with a two kids and has a wife, make a saving of RM320 ringgit every month, the total saving he will get after 10 years is only 38,400 ringgit. Compare if he contribute RM320 ringgit per month in Hiba Takaful, some cover by Takaful is 600,000 ringgit with a protection booster 60,000 ringgit. Let's say after 10 years, he passed away. The total left to his family or is is 960,000 ringgit. See, the difference of the amount here if Imran is just relying on saving without a takaful. Both commercial insurance and takaful are top-notch and excellent protection providers. They have similar basic principle where the policyholders have to suffer financial loss if unfortunate events occur that result in certain loss. What makes conventional and takaful different is the product and service of them. Takaful products are based on Islamic law or Sharia while the conventional product is more general. After slicing through the layers of takaful and conventional insurance, it reveals that even though they share a common objective, the dissimilarities in surplus distribution and investment distribution can tell the difference between both. From our point of view, a Muslim should use Muslim halal product as a safeguard to ahirat or afterlife as takaful in the middle rebars, al Maisi and al Gagara. Nevertheless, Muslim or non-Muslim may participate in any takaful plans. Thus, for Muslim, takaful is a must of protection plan that they should practice and non-Muslim can either participate in takaful or be the policy owner of the insurance. Death or unfortunate events are inevitable. Hence, by providing protection to you and your loved ones, you can assist them and yourself in economic survivors. So, that's all from our group. Thank you.